good day all and welcome back to the channel so today let's discuss how to manage deferred expenses in odoo 30 so deferred expenses and or prepayments are also known as prepaid expenses which are costs that have already occurred for unconsumed products or services yet to receive so these costs are assets for the company uh, so it is already paid for the products and services still to receive or that are yet to be used. So we cannot report, that is the company cannot report them on the profit and low statement. So uh, these payments will be effectively expensed in the future. So let's take an example. Let's say uh, we pay 1,200 at once for one year of insurance. And so we already pay the cost now, but haven't used the service yet. Therefore, we post this new expense in a prepayment account. That is our deferred expense account and desire to recognize it on a monthly basis. So each month for the next 12 months, 100 will be recognized as an expense. So auto handles, auto accounting handles deferred expenses and prepayments by spreading them in multiple entries that are automatically created in draft mode and then posted periodically. So these transactions, must be posted on a deferred expense account rather than on the default expense account. So let's see how this is done. Let's open um, accounting module. And first let's create a deferred expense model. So you can create these expense models, deferred expense models to create your deferred expense entries faster. So click on create button and you can see a form where I can provide the deferred expense model. So I'm giving one year of insurance. Okay, then we can set the depreciation method that is number of recognitions. So I'm going to set 12 months as recognition. Okay, then we can provide the pro rata temporary. So as you can enable this option. Uh, so if you enable this, uh, the first depreciation entry for this asset have to be done from the uh, purchase date instead of the 1st January or start date of fiscal year. So right now I'm not enabling this. Okay. Then here you have to configure and set deferred expense account. So I have already configured deferred expense account. That is prepaid insurance. Okay, so when you go to external link, you can see the details of this deferred expense account, like name of the account. So I have set it as prepaid insurance. Then you can set the type of this account. It can be uh, either set as prepayment uh, or current asset. Okay. Now let's save this. And here we can see the expense account. That is the account used to recognize the expense. So we already have an expense account created. Okay, we can see the type is expense. Then we can select a journal. So I'm setting miscellaneous operation. And if you want to add analytic account or analytic tag, and that is you can also manage it from inside this model. You can add it from here. Okay, now let's save this model. Okay, now let's open our deferred expense account. So here you can see a field that is used to automate deferred expense. So by default, it is set as no, that is if you don't want to uh, automate deferred expense. Then you can see uh, two other options, that is you can create uh, in draft and or create and validate. So the second option, um, it will create a draft expense entry, but uh, it will not be validated. So whenever a transaction is posted on this account, draft entries are created, draft deferred expense entries are created. 
then if you choose a third option that is create and validate, Whenever a transaction is posted on the account, a deferred expense entry is created and immediately validated. So you must select a deferred expense model. So you can see already we have a model that is one year of insurance. So let's select that and save it. Okay, now let's create a purchase order. Okay, I have already created a product, service product that is insurance one year. So when you go to external link, you can see that uh, product type is service. And I have set a sales price as 1,200. Okay, then come under accounting and here set an expense account for this service product. So you have to set the expense account as a deferred expense account that you have just created. So I have set that account as expense account as prepaid insurance. So the transactions related to this product will be posted on this deferred expense account rather than on the default expense account. Okay. So now let's save this. Let's remove the tax. Okay, we can see the total amount is 1,200. So one quantity. Now let's confirm this purchase order. Now let's create a bill. Okay, and you have to check whether the service invoicing policy is ordered quantity. Then only we can create a bill for ordered quantity. Okay, now let's post this bill. So you can see automatically a deferred expense entry is created. Because we have set uh, that inside the deferred expense account that uh, to generate deferred expense entry, uh, that is to automate deferred expense. So let's open this. And here we can see the deferred expense created in a running state. So you can view a lot of details like the asset values, original value of this. Uh, product, then acquisition date, then the current values. Okay, so below you can also find the depreciation method, that is number of recognitions, then the first recognition date. And you can also see the accounting details. Uh, okay, so we have said this before. So when you come below, you can see an expense board. So this is our deferred expense board. Uh, so this deferred expense entry automatically generates journal entries in draft mode. And these are posted one by one at the right time until the full amount of expense is recognized. So you can see as we have set uh, the period number of recognition as 12 months, you can see for each month uh, the expense, the total expense recognized, need to be recognized, you can see for the first month, it is 100, uh, you can see for every month. Then you can find the cumulative expense. So first month we have 100, then we can see it is 200. So you can see the amount is increased. Okay, and you can also find the next period expense. So you can find that uh, these are created in draft state and will be posted automatically at the accounting date, that is recognition date. So we can see the expense date here. So on these dates, uh, this will be posted automatically. So when you open it, open an entry, 
you can see the counting date and here we can find the journal items so under other information you can see it is set as post automatically so that uh, this is why the entry is set to be posted automatically at accounting date and if you want to manually post an entry you can just disable this option okay so for that we have to edit this and if any entries are posted you can see those entries here above that is you can view the count of posted entries and when you open that you can view all the posted entries so now we don't have any uh, posted entries and it's also possible to add the related expense now you can see we already have a related expense and if you want to add you can just click on this add a line then if you want to set this deferred expense to draft state because we have uh, this deferred expense entry is created automatically and validated so if you want to reset it to draft you can just click on the set to draft so you can uh, modify the details like accounting details or depreciation, depreciation method uh, okay then it's also possible to modify expense then we can also save this model Okay, so these deferred expenses or future expenses must be deferred on the company's balance sheet until the moment in time they can be recognized at once or over a defined period on the profit and loss statement. So let's open our accounting reporting. we have our balance sheet so when you come under current asset you can see our account prepaid insurance and here we can view the journal items So after the defined period, that is when the uh, entries are posted, you can see that inside the profit and loss report, that is, uh, it will be recognized as the as expense of a company. So it will be posted in this account, our expense account that we have set inside our for expense model. So that's how we manage deferred expenses in Odo 30.